is This About You? At walkwithmenow.com, I give a weekly exercise that all participants can do. Sometimes I like to share the exercise with the larger public, you, as it feels to me that it can make a huge difference to the world and your life if you do the exercise too. This week, the exercise is very powerful and its effect goes beyond words. Also, it's one of the simplest exercises you will find. But first, some context. For the past few years, it has been clear to me and others on the planet that there are two very important things for us to integrate to make life here an amazing and wonderful experience. One, step away from the I, me and myself culture. Two, engage the human collective consciousness at a high frequency level. This article is about the first and the result of the exercise is a step towards the second. The shift to a more humane, wonderful, creative, inspiring, peaceful, safe, exciting, filled with possibilities world where each and every person on it is able to fully reach their highest capacity began in earnest in the 1800s. The shift took off big time then and it's been moving forward ever since. It got hijacked over and over again, it is true. The hijacking slowed it down but didn't stop it. You are the proof that it didn't stop. You are here reading this. The last hijack began in the 60s and lasted all the way to now. And that hijacking was the move from our world, our enlightenment, our benefit, our growth, our people, our planet, to my world, my enlightenment, my happiness, my benefit, my growth, my people, my planet, etc., etc., etc. I bet that in this life you have said one of those I, me, and myself sentences more than once. I would say probably at least the my growth one, yes? It was never meant to go that way. You were never meant to be dedicated and spend so much time on your growth or your happiness. But then you had to, because if you didn't, well, in most cases, there was certainly no one else who would give two cents about your growth or your happiness. Some might say, well, I am always concerned with other people's happiness and will do things for them even when it's unpleasant because it makes them happy. You probably know a couple of these individuals yourself. However, a little digging will find that they only do that because they want people to love and like them and or they think that their way to enlightenment or happiness is through sacrifice. You see, during this hijacking, it not only became about I, me and myself, but also you and yourself. Both of these lost the we, us and ourselves. The thought of becoming one with others, not just a person in a group, but actually the same entity as others, a collective entity that has us and others in it, is scary. And it is scary by design. Group dynamics are corrupted. They are based on other. The group unites against others, or it is based on other, such as a mission, a teaching, or a leader. The natural human high frequency group has not had much of a chance to express in our world yet. The type of group where everyone is us and the individual is cared for and cares for knows no one in that group will ever do something to hurt him or her and would never do something to hurt another. This type of group is actually the natural high frequency expression of our species, as opposed to the unnatural division and aggression we are told is a normal part of being human. There are more qualities to this type of group that I have mentioned above, and up until this month I knew it was possible to be that group, not part of it but be it, but didn't know if it was possible on our planet yet. 
Well, during my May retreat this year, this is exactly what all participants decided they wanted to test out and succeeded. Yes, it is real, possible and doable now. Popular media will scare the bejeebies out of us, even at the thought of a collective mind. We have all been brought up in cultures that promote individualism and competition and being the best, all things that divide. And the thought of being one with others is immediately labelled the hive mind, when in fact hive mind is what we have on the planet now. One group, person, ruler, telling everyone else, the slaves, what to do, and they do it. Remember the method of divide and conquer? Oh yes, that's very much what we have been living the past few decades, through the demonization of the one-mind group. You see, in a one-mind group, there is not a subgroup ethos, leader, or entity ruling the rest. It's hard to imagine, and it's not a democracy or consensus, but it is, in fact, a merging of individuals into one being. The individual does not disappear, but, in fact, his or her awareness, knowledge, and senses expand to encompass everyone else's. They are themselves and they are the larger self at the same time. Well, now I know and want you to know too that the model for a healthy and powerful collective beingness has been achieved. But you don't have to try to believe it or even try to join it. All you need to do for our human species is to spend a few seconds of your life simply realizing that the stuff you are part of the experiences you are having, witnessing and feeding might not be about you at all. Yep, this is a tiny little exercise that can shift your entire life around and make your awareness expand like a burst of source energy went inside of it. It will give you the insight as to why being the I, me and myself 24-7 is BS. That's right. It's natural, normal and healthy to be the I, me and myself a few minutes a day or even a couple of hours, maybe even half the week. But it was never meant to be what we are all the time. So let's do the exercise and see how you feel and think about it. Here is how to do it. This is about situations, emotions, engagements with others that will stimulate a reaction or response from us. These can be positive or negative. When we feel an emotion, train of thought, focus or interest in something, simply say the following words and explore how it changes the situation for you. It is not about me. That's it. If you are having trouble remembering to do so during the day, then simply set up an alarm to go off every three hours or so. And when it goes off, feel into what you are doing at the time, or feeling or reacting or responding to, and simply state, this is not about me. How is this tiny little exercise going to give you an insight into becoming less I, me and myself? and more us, we, and ourselves, it's a step in the right direction. If you read to this point, kudos to you. Thank your willingness to hear to what we are exploring and stepping into.